Hi there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the San Miguel de Allende Secrets video channel here on YouTube. As always, if you need more information, there's links in the descriptive box below, including a link to Amazon.com if you're interested in purchasing any of the books in the San Miguel de Allende Secrets series of best-selling books. And today we're going to talk about children, death, and our troubled reactions to both. Children's funerals are so sad. Recently in town, the departed was so small, Dad can still carry him or her single-handedly within the coffin. This was one of my recent social media postings. I enjoy social media and consider it a fun hobby, posting endlessly about San Miguel's history and culture, often with a bit of wit. However, this posting I hesitated over. I know that from experience, when you post a discarded coffin from a recycled tomb, I'll get over 500 written responses in less than an hour. We foreigners get up in arms about the notion of a tomb being reused. I use these images to reinforce the notion that if no one's there to pay my tomb taxes every five years and the same office I pay my house taxes, since both are real estate, I'll lose my tomb space. However, if I have no one paying my taxes and no one is bringing me back for Day of the Dead, then I've permanently gone on to my eternal life with God. Hence, my corpse, or tomb, is no more important to me than my old shoes. The notion of your death date being your actual birth date baffles foreigners, as we like to think of our graves as being our eternal resting spot. The image, uh, the image of keeping a cemetery living, so to speak, is a great conversation starter. The dead child was a different story, though. Granted, 99% of the, of the over 600 responses were favorable. Most understood that a funeral is a public event, complete with fireworks and a parade through town. However, some folks from up north or across the pond had real difficulties dealing with the realities of the, of the situation. One gal went so berserk, explaining that since a child dying before a parent was, quote, completely unnatural, it had no place on social media or anywhere. Now, I've outlived a child by parents several. It never occurred to me if it were natural or not. No one comes into this world with a guaranteed amount of time here, and death comes on a dime. To assume that there is a hierarchical sequence to death means you haven't lived too terribly long, or you're very oblivious. Luckily, I know better than to respond to harsh criticism and let others do it for me. Several other parents of deceased children wrote in wishing that their children's funerals had been public events with photos for them to view today instead of the sad, hidden away affairs. Others remarked how in Mexico's culture, a child that dies before you reminds you that you have an angel or saint waiting for your arrival, eager to ease you with your transition. Plus, by having the child carried throughout town by dad, reminds us viewers to offer prayers for the family and realize, is there any lovelier way to be taken to rest than in the arms of your father? Some questioned the point of displaying the image, which to me was the point. The image obviously isn't, aesthetically or technically speaking, great art, but it ignited deep conversations by the dozens. That makes it a powerful image and one for which I'm proud of. As always, please feel free to click the subscribe button below and you'll get notifications nearly daily of new videos that come out in the San Miguel de Allende Secret Series.